right, we are back with another video. So what's the topic today? Hmm. All right, how do you carry a box? Um, believe it or not, I know a lot of people think it's such a simple subject. They're not carrying boxes. Everybody just grabs a box and goes, right? So everybody thinks it's a very simple subject. And people are right when they ask, how do you carry a box? We get that question a lot, believe it or not. And the way to carry a box, um, it's uh, very is dependent uh, on, on on you hold it as well as on the tape that you use to tape the box. Okay, most people just grab a box and go. Uh, naturally, most often just grab from the corners and go. But that's not the way to do it. Uh, there's two flaps at the bottom of the box, and the tape holds it together. As you can see, right? Simple thing. If you just grab it by the corners, you notice that the, uh, the tape and the flaps are completely on their own. Assuming you did a phenomenal job of using tape and the tape is one of the best out there, should be no problem. The tape would hold it and should basically grab both flaps. But that's most often not the case. So the proper way to actually hold the box is to hold it between flaps. Like that, where your hand reaches to both flaps at the bottom of the box, as you can see. So, assuming the tape is good, great, but if it happens to be a, a defective tape or the tape happens to be weak on adhesive, the box is just going to come apart. This way it will not, because your hand grabs both, both flaps. Provided it's not too heavy, which by the way, most often heavy items are, are carried in small boxes like this. Uh, you can always also have your hand reach over, under it. Under it's kind of a strange way to carry it. But if what you carry inside this box is very important to you, you don't want to take any risks. What you do, put your hand underneath where your hand goes across, your arm goes right across, and grabs both flaps, okay? Most often the best way to do it, and you're going to watch movers, how they do it, and you're going to see they do that this way. This is a sure way of making sure you carry the box and doesn't come apart. As mentioned, uh, we um, this is a small box. It's a 1.5 cube box, which we sell for $1.80. Great price, and it even comes with a nice little post you know, right here where you can put in the description what's inside of it. Not bad. But uh, a small box like this would carry heavy items, and you don't want to take chances, as I mentioned, okay? Assuming, for example, you're going to be using a big box, something like this, obviously it's going to be kind of weird to, to carry uh, uh, under with your arm underneath, right? But still, you would be, you would be required to carry it, uh, to hold it underneath. Because big boxes are used for uh, light items like clothing and mattresses and uh, mattresses, uh, comforters and the pillows, things like that, right? In that case, it should be okay. But you still need to be cautious with the, uh, with the tape because you don't want it to come apart along the way and all of a sudden you're going to repack it, right? So the best way to carry it is this way, okay? Every once in a while you might come across a box, a box with, uh, with handles. A box like this with handles. That's a usual box. We also sell you all products. Um, $1.75. Great price too. But you notice the picture from there. Heavy items, right? And this box has handles on it. A lot of people love the handles because you don't have to bend over and grab, right? It's a lot easier to grab and go. This is the sample that we use to show our customers the size of the box so they get to make it it's quicker to make a decision as to what they need, right? But I'm not sure if you can see the video there. The handle is coming apart. This box has never been loaded. It's empty. This is just from grabbing it. So handles are not trustworthy. And I believe we mentioned that to you in the previous video before. Uh, that's what the reason for, hence the reason for holding it underneath. Okay. So handles are great, uh, provided the box is very, very lightly loaded. But even like that, it might come apart. I'm not sure if this happened to you. It's happened to me when I buy a uh, new uh, microwave. I'm walking out before I actually put it inside the trunk. It, come up, it came apart on me because the handles are not the safest thing. Okay, A bit deceiving. Another option for carrying boxes, uh, and this happens sometimes when you have a box that is actually a little too loaded or the, 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 the actual carton is a little weak. You can always use Cut a piece of, uh, of carton, which you're going to be, you can use on multiple boxes. Put it underneath and grab again in the middle. This carton gives it another layer of protection, another layer, another layer of strength. Sometimes uh, boxes that get a little moist or something, you don't want to have to repack the box. 
So you just put a layer of plant, a carton like that, and there you go, you carry it, okay? So I think that's all for how you carry a box. Uh, you do need to exercise, exercise caution, as mentioned. Uh, and so long as you do it right, you shouldn't have an issue. But if you watch movers, professional movers doing it, you'll notice that they, do, they carry them that way, just as a way of safety. I think that's it. If there's any questions uh, or comments, post them below. Uh, we'll read them and be able to answer to you. And definitely will accept, will appreciate any input from you. Also, if you want to get more videos like this, uh, subscribe, to our subscribe to our channel and we're, we're usually posting new videos. We did take a break there for a while, but we're back with new videos. And hopefully what we post is a great service to you. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Thanks. See you next time.